The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Talking Heads with Naughty is sponsored by the Bahamas Out Island Promotion Board, BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, the Quadrant Tree Convenience Store, Dunkin' County Bank Bahamas, Fine Threads, the Jeff Rogers Basketball Camp, John's Department Store, J.S. Johnson, Joe Chris Wilde, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Jaros. See it more clear because I came with the coop in here. Ring the alarm and form the troops. Send them out into the world, go to war on the flu. Out of eye with the enemy, you sworn to shoot. Now I'm coming at your neck, sick of hearing something wrong with me. Wrong with you. When the cheap just way too smart to question. Happy Monday. And once again, it is on the Monday edition of Talking Heads right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Your boy Naughty in your company right up until 6 p.m. on this wet Monday, man. Very wet outside. So as you're making your, your runs this afternoon, please proceed with caution and care. All right? Very wet outside. You still have pedestrians on, the, on those sidewalks. You know, you got uh, other motorists on two wheels. So please, just a little, little caution, a little care. And, and don't bet the people up on the sidewalks. Please. Okay? Thank you. All right. Now, Started today. I got to get you. Make sure your mind's right. It's better on the outside, so I don't. I, I don't want to make sure your, your brains aren't floating. You know, I'll make sure we have a good conversation this afternoon. So you know, we, I got your brain teaser lined up. You know how to chime in three two three six two three two three two five four two five nine three two five four three one six. Text lines powered by BTC four two two gr nine six four two two four seven nine six. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com GuardianTalkRadio.com, Cable Channel 969, BTC Flow Channel 612. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on. My God. (sighs) Recent survey of 100 Bahamian men. Survey revealed of these 100 Bahamian men, 31% said they don't do this on a daily basis, even though they should. That's your mind-bending brain teaser. You got between now and the top of the 5 o'clock hour when the news comes on to get your answers in. Recent survey, 100 Bahamian males, all right? Obviously, with the ages of uh, 20 and 50, surveyed. 31% 31% or 31 out of 100 said they don't do this on a daily basis even though they should. And for those of you who chimed in, already all your answers are wrong. You're Googling, right away. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll I, I give it to y'all some time to try to chime in. I'll get to your answers in a second. But uh, that's your question. And you're playing for Joker's Wild Party Passes, all right? Great show over there at the Joker's Wild. Tuesday through Sunday, doors open at 8, showtime is at 9, all right? You got your headliner, Davin Rosenblatt, feature comedian Rick Carucci, and yours truly. Funny show from start to finish, two for one on all locals, so definitely take advantage of that. All right, we're located between the card and the beach tower over there at the beautiful Atlantis. And all you need is your Vax card or your rapid antigen test, and you are good to go for the show. So that's what we're playing for. While you're trying to get the answer for that, let's slide into your headliners. Who are us making headlines in the 242? All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. Don't forget, Fine Threads has new arrivals in stock right now. So you definitely got to check them out. Wide selection on new arrivals as well. Definitely some of the brand names you like as well. So definitely check them out online, finethreads.com. All right? Like I said, new items coming in every week. Chino pants, brand new, you know, Fresh selection of shirts for every event and occasion. Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, or the Southwest Plaza location. Both locations, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., available for you. Fine threads for the man with good taste. And don't forget, if you buy one denim jeans, you're going to get one of equal or lesser value absolutely free. And if you get one's men's suit or men's suit package, you're going to get a boy's suit half off. All right? 
only at Fine Threads, both locations. Check them out online, finethreads.com. All right. So I'm just jump off the pages of The Guardian. Can I tell you where to lie? Biggest one, government settles with incoming police chief. Story by Jasper Ward. Now, the amount of the settlement wasn't revealed, but the Office of the Attorney General has settled a 2019 lawsuit filed by incoming Commissioner of Police Clayton Fernander and incoming Deputy Commissioner of Police Lehman Delavo. This is according to uh, Attorney Bjorn Ferguson. Ferguson mentioned this yesterday. Ferguson, who represents Fernanda and Delavo, said the matter was settled on June 12th. He declined to reveal how much was awarded to the men. Fernanda and Delavo were among eight senior police officers controversially uh, sent on leave under the Minister's administration in 2019. Former Deputy Commissioner Emmerich Seymour, Assistant, Assistant, uh, Assistant Commissioner Stephen Dean, and Assistant Commissioners Clarence Reckley, Theophilus Cunningham, Ashton Greenslade, Ken Strawn, Fernanda, and Delavo were all directed to take their months of accumulated vacation. Now remember, Marvin Dames, who was Minister of National Security at the time, insisted that there was nothing since placed the senior officers on leave. Rather, the action was a part of the government's plan to transition the force to a new structure, as recommended in the audit report tabled in the House of Assembly in May of 2019. So please, let me know what you think about that. Because at the end of the day, we foot in the bill. And I don't have a problem with, you know, Mr. Fernando getting his, his, what he deserves and, 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 and his just rewards. I, I don't, in all fairness. But boy, I tell you, once again, we got to foot the bill because of political posturing. Another big headline today, House to Debate Bill aimed at bringing closure to families of Dorian victims. And let me know how you feel on this. Chime in. Text lines are open, 422-GR96, 422-4796. Phone lines are open, 323-6232, 325-4259, The government is expected to debate legislation on Wednesday to provide for the presumption of death for people who disappear in circumstances and have not been heard from for at least two years. On Saturday, the Office of the Prime Minister, Director of Communications, Latre Ramming, tweeted that the proposed legislation was for individuals impacted by Hurricane Dorian nearly three years ago. Quoted as saying, this legislation will bring closure to many Bahamian families as they finally turn the chapter on their lives lost during Hurricane Dorian. He actually tweeted that. And there is a copy of it in The Guardian. Well, actually not a copy of it in The Guardian, but The Guardian has obtained a copy of the proposed legislation, the Evidence Amendment Number 2 Bill, 2022. And it's quoted, it quotes the bill where any person is proved to have disappeared in circumstances of peril and the person has not been heard of from two years or more since the disappearance and after proper inquiry made by or on behalf of those naturally would, would have heard or from who would have heard, from, heard of or from that person, it is the per, had the person been alive, the court shall presume until the contrary is shown that the person is dead and the court, in such a case, may presume the time of death of that person to be the date of the peril. And this comes directly from the bill. For the purpose of this section, circumstances of peril includes a natural disaster, such as a hurricane. So what are your feelings on that? I think, you know, the families that were involved with Dorian do deserve closure. So this is good for them. But we'll see. Naughty. Political posture in my foot. Davis is only looking out for his boys. They were reassigned, then reinstated. They lost no benefits. It's fleecing the system. And don't forget, Fernando was opening campaigning for Davis on Cat Island. I mean, so you say, Texter. I, I didn't see it, but if, if you did see it and that is the case, then fine. And, and you're right, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. I agree with you on the, on the system getting fleeced because once again, we as taxpayers got to foot the bill for political posture. Now, I'm not going to weigh from that. We do have to, to foot the bill because of political posture. Now, I get the points you made, Tex, the good points. But understand, that was all, you know, what I call the political hokey pokey. 
You put your yellow foot in, you take your red foot out, you put your red foot in, you take your yellow foot out, you shake it all around. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how it all plays. That's how you chime in on it. Because I want to know how people really feel. At the end of the day, it's our dime. We're going to slide out of the headlines, brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads and Get Up Into the Buzz, brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And don't forget, new arrivals each and every Monday at both John's locations. Ladies, go check them out. New arrivals for you right now. In addition to that, you have your fast fashions, you have your workwear, all of your accessories to match. Full selection of footwear for your kids. Full selection for the men as well. Great selection on Clarks. Great line of Clarks in there, guys. Go check them out on that. And John's now has small home appliances and cookware for you as well at both John's locations. So be sure to check uh, check them out, John's Plaza Carmichael, and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. And remember, with John's, serving you is a pleasure. Now, the buzz, I tell you, this has been buzzing a lot. And, and, and it's a good point. And story in today's uh, Guardian, story by Travis Cartwright Carroll, Minnis mom over claims by outgoing COP. Former Minnis was mom over claims by outgoing Commissioner of Police Paul Rowe that he felt betrayed and deceived by the Minnis administration over its handling of several senior officers sent on leave. Now, when I heard that play out last week, that created a little buzz in its own right. But you have to look at it. Mr. Rowe is stepping down. He's going back to become a normal member of society. If he feels that he wanted to cleanse his soul and bear all so his conscience is clear, that's his God-given right. And if he wanted the record to show exactly how it went down from his standpoint, what he couldn't say, but now he can, this is where we are. But at the end of the day, what I find extremely interesting, Dr. Minnis has been very, I don't know if it was, if it's staged, if it's strategic, been very opinionated. More so than he ever did when he was in prime minister. When he was the prime minister, you know, we, we got great quotes. I going to make stew fish, NPO, no so on and so forth. You got a few tears for Dominica, but pretty much nothing. Now, every opportunity he has to speak, he does. Whether it's beneficial or detrimental to the party, that's not, that's not the mission. It's staying relevant. That's the mission. But why so quiet now? Dr. Minister, if you want to be relevant, you still want to be part of that f and leadership mechanism or so on and so forth, or you want everybody to know exactly what happened on your watch, you speak to this. Because there were a lot of scathing comments that, the, the, you know, and allegations directed by, by Mr. Rowe that if that were the case, we'd like to hear from you and, and your administration who are directly responsible for it. Because at the, at the end of the day, the bottom line is here we are now in 2022, me, Joe Public, and other members of the public got to pick up the tab because it's on our dime. So I'd like to hear from you, Dr. Minutes. Why so quiet right now? Why crickets? We can hear from you on every other opportunity you get a chance to speak. Now, why not now? Makes one one wonder, does it? For sure. Anyway, we're going to go to the first break right here on Talking Ads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, 4.30 p.m. is the time. On the flip side of the break, I'll check out the, the global warming. We're heating up the planet on, in 60 seconds or less, all brought to you by KFC Nassau. Then we get up into our Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. I'll be talking to the good folks from Crime Stopper. they got some big things going on. The fresh crime. And now we're going to see how we can make Crime Stoppers even more relevant in the 242 and more effective. So we'll have a great conversation coming up on the Dunkin' Donuts Coffee Break with my good friends from Crime Stoppers. And toward the bottom of the hour, I told you he'd be back last week, and he's back coming up toward the bottom of the hour. Kermit D is good friend. Cuban really is in the building with the numerology report, all brought to you, of course, by Percy's Island Game. That's all coming up on the flip side of the break right here on Talking Heads, the Monday edition. Don't touch it. Get 
ready for more iced coffee temptations at Dunkin'. More delectable aromas and more exciting flavors so you can get more refreshment from every cup. Enjoy the flavors of butter roasted pecans and sweet cream combined with Dunkin' Original Blend Iced Coffee. Or try our cake batter signature latte combining smooth, rich espresso with a spoon-licking good cake batter flavor topped with whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and rainbow sprinkles for a party in every cup. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Refined style with elegant taste Then fine threads If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist Then fine threads is your place If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go Like you're supposed to be in a video Want to step out and look great Then fine threads is your place Refined style with elegant taste Then fine threads is your place Is your place Is your place When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world, Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, Visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. Girl, Junior just showed me Bella Boy in his phone. What you mean? He take picture of that good for nothing boy? Shh, you don't want Bella hair. You say that. You know she always has said that's my good child. So what are you doing in Junior phone? Oh, he there because the list. Wanted persons in your phone now? Yes, child. And when police want to find anybody quick, quick, after something happened, they can send pictures direct to your phone. Go to Google Play or App Store and search for Crack Crime Bahamas. Then pick install and we'll go straight to your phone. There is also a section on missing persons? Yes, girl. Everybody needs to get this app so police can tell us right away when these people go missing. Just like an alert system. Yes, it has numbers for Crime Stoppers Bahamas so you can call and nobody knows you. Call directly to Miami and give the information without giving your name or anything about you. I tried the other day and when I hear Junior and his boys talking about where they hide those guns, I walk quick, quick round the corner and call that number. Call 328-8477 from Nassau or 242-300-8477 from the family islands We're back at you right here, Talking Heads, the Monday edition, right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Boy, Naughty and your company, right up until 5 p.m., 4.35 p.m. is the time right now. And uh, let's get up into it, the global warming. We're heating up the planet in 60 seconds or less, all brought to you by KFC Nassau. And listen, people, all right? If you haven't tried it, you need to enjoy the famous flavor of KFC 11, KFC's 11 herbs and spices in the KFC Original Recipe Burger. This chicken sandwich is 100% flavor with an extra large 100% white meat original recipe filet. That's how good it's done, and it's finger licking good all the time. Available for you at your favorite KFC location for takeout, drive through and delivery with the Craven app. And don't forget the, uh, the KFC drive throughs available for you Monday through Sunday until midnight, opening and frying until midnight. So you got until midnight to get your finger licking on your location. All right, let's check out what's heating up the planet. In 60 seconds or less. Like I said, all brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And this came in, like, from over the weekend. Obviously, you know, today's July 4th in the States. And uh, everybody's celebrating July 4th at the moment. Got some, some, some tragic news coming in out of Chicago. Rooftop shooter. Several people dead already. That's still transpiring. I was hearing reports about that on the way to work. So prayers up for Chicago and, and for the U.S., on the 4th of July, and hopefully they can enjoy the rest of the day without even being marred by any more incidents. But a uh, couple of tidbits from over the weekend. Sonny Barger, biker and founder of the Hells Angels, has passed away. He was 83. Miles Bridges of the Charlotte Hornets was arrested last week after allegedly injuring a woman during a physical dispute in Los Angeles. Turned out to be one of his, uh, turned out to be his, his possibly fiance. I know baby mama for sure. They have a child together. 
So we'll see how that pans out. One of Bill Gates' companies has purchased the Palazzo Mariani, a 17th century building in Rome. He plans to turn it into a six-star hotel. Cameron Diaz is coming out of retirement to do a Netflix movie with Jamie Foxx. I think that's a solid move right there. Dakota Johnson is the daughter of Melanie Griffin, who is the daughter of actress Tippi Hedren, who starred in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Dakota says that once Hitchcock sent her mom's small doll of, he- of, of Hedren in, in a coffin as a Christmas gift when Melanie Griffin was a child. How deep, dark, and twisted was Alfred Hitchcock? Boy, but he had some good movies. What else is going on? And finally, Ricky Martin has been hit with a $3 million lawsuit from his ex-manager, Rebecca Drucker. Drucker, who worked with Martin from 2014 to 2018, and then again from 2020 to 2022, is suing the Latin music icon for unpaid commissions, and has used the phrase, a potentially career-ending allegation. Ouch! That's a wrap right there on your global warming. We'll see another planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you by KFC Nassau. All right, let's go to the text lines. Naughty, Commissioner Paul Rowe needs to go sit down and be quiet. Nobody is into that foolishness. Talking. If you want to talk something, tell us about the investigation what you led against former cabinet minister, Mr. Shane Gibson. Former Justice Jeannie Thompson is so correct. It should be pu- uh, published. It should be made public for, the, for us, the people, to know what the government settled with the incumbent commissioner of police. That's our money. What else we got? The fact that fellow officers are not speaking out on uh, Delavo being assistant commissioner is an alert to the politiz- politicalization. Politicalization. Thank you, Dex. I got tongue twisted on that one. Of the force. Everyone on the force knows. Uh... Anyway, we we'll leave that out, you know? Yeah, Texas. You can take it to that point, man. My God, how do you really feel? Naughty, I disagree. This is the perfect time for Doc to start uh, the quiet spree. The accusation is against his administration, not him. That's the leader role to address. Boy, y'all Minnesites, y'all crack me right up. One minute you want the man to speak to the detriment of the party, now you want him to shut up. Well, listen, if it was on his administration, then yeah, you should be able to answer on that. Just address it, then he could easily turn around and say, Kalani, you need to speak on this since you was head of this, you know, last go around, since you like talk to try to stay relevant. Tell us what's really going down with this. Boy, I tell you, jam in with some of you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that today. That was a, that was a good little laugh. Uh, none of y'all are correct with your answers. Some good ones, but, but no, that's not it. All right. Coming up in our short order, as a matter of fact, right about now, do we have our folks chiming in on the Zoom from Crime Stoppers, Mr. Producer? We got Crime Stoppers on the Zoom? All right, we good to go. So let me get up into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. Because you know I runs on Dunkin'. That's a wrap, obviously, on your global woman. Like I said, I'll brought to you across by KFC Nassau. And let me get up into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. Because you know I runs on Dunkin'. I was running on Dunkin' from, from this morning, early. And you know what I was running on? The iced coffees are back. And, of course, the butter pecan iced coffee is back at Dunkin'. Okay? And, my God, it is off the chain. All right? It's got the uh, tasty flavors of butter roasted pecans and that sweet cream along with that Duncan's Original Blended Iced Coffee. It is all good. It's waiting on you, all right, at your favorite Duncan Donuts location, along with your favorite sandwiches, and, of course, the donuts, all right, Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Burnett Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location, and, of course, out at the airport, pre-clearance and post-clearance. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan. All right. Now, we have uh, joining me on my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break, all right, from uh, Crime Stoppers right here in the Bahamas. We have um, Marissa Awai. She's the chairperson for Crime Stoppers Bahamas. I'd like to welcome her to Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. Good afternoon, Marissa. How are you? Good afternoon, Dr. Kalani. How are you? 
Good afternoon, Naughty Fine. Good afternoon, Bahamas. I also want to mention that I have another director here with me. Okay. Frances McKenzie Oliver. She's also one of the directors at Crime Stoppers Bahamas. Okay. Well, welcome both of you. And of course, you guys are fresh off the 2022 ACCP uh, annual general meeting and the conference. And that was held here, correctly? Yes. The uh, commissioners of police, um, the Caribbean commissioners of police held their conference here at Bahama the l last week of May. And Crime Stoppers, we participated in that meeting now, and they were dealing with crime issues in the Caribbean. Well, that's what I was about to ask you. Obviously it's great that we have this conference here with, with, with commissioners from the region here in, in the Bahamas. That, that's definitely a good look, but also what, what kind of opportunity was crime stoppers afforded to be part of the, the conference? And where do we go from here to, to, to really give, you know, crime stoppers the support and the, you know, the, 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 the encouragement that it needs to, to, to continue. Because I know there are a lot of community groups that watch and so on and so forth. But you guys, you know, you get the information out. You're always, you know, on the pulse of it. So where do we go from here? Well, as you know, Crime Stoppers, where there are a lot of different groups dealing with Crime Stoppers, our, well, I wouldn't say claim to fame, but our main point is that we provide secrecy and you, we do not reveal the person who has given us a tip about a certain crime which can help police solve a crime. So that's our critical point. Crime Stoppers is about anonymous tips. We Get do not reveal confidentiality. Who, right, confidentiality, anonymous person. And we also offer rewards for tips if you call it in our tips, as many may know for those who do not know. You all have uh, some of the most entertaining commercials, by the way. I, I, I must agree. You have some good ways but, of getting it out there. Thank, thank you. As you know, our tips go to, um, is answered by the Crime Stoppers desk in Miami-Dade. It's, it's then sanitized, as we call it, in the field, which means they double check to make sure there's nothing in the tip that can identify where the tipster is or who the tipster might be. And then it's sent back to a liaison or police coordinator here in the Bahamas. I and they disseminate it to the different relevant departments to deal with whatever well, the tip may involve. I think that's what, one of the biggest hurdles and obstacles we still face in, in the crime fighting and solving crimes here in the Bahamas is the fact that, that people, they, they, they want to be able to have the, that total confidence, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, you know, the, you know tip, typical, you know, how it's been forever. I, I don't want to say nothing because then something might happen to me. And I think this gives somebody uh, who may have information a platform and a secure platform to get information to you guys that, that will help solve crimes and help bring crime down in the Bahamas. So I, you have well, yeah. Yes, because, you know, Bahamas is a quite a small population and our neighborhoods and communities are quite small. So it gives a, it's a challenge for residents to come out and report what they know, what they see of their neighbors, and yet to feel confident that it would not get back to the fact that they were the person who reported it. Because in today's world, there's a lot of retaliation. There's a lot of, you know, I don't want to go to court because I don't want to get involved. I, I don't that. want my family to feel, you know, insecure about the fact that, you know, they, there may be retaliation. So it's very, uh, I think, you know, Crime Stoppers hits the nail on the head by allowing small communities especially to be able to report back on crime without the, the safety and the security that they will not be, you know, they won't have to reveal who they are. Now, how can, how can we enhance Crime Stoppers now to, to make it even more effective? I mean, what do you guys need to go to the next level now? Well, we would like to, to probably look at, we've been beginning to have talks with the Ministry of Education. We would like to see if we could have introduced it into the schools to have maybe Crime Stoppers ambassadors in the school to promote the program to give kids a feeling that they have a safe place where they can report without, you know, being fear of retaliation. And we believe that, you know, in the schools, it would be good. We may not be able to give money to kids under 18, but if the jurisdictions they would give gifts, they can give phones, they can give tablets, they can give other types of gifts. So 
probably, but we have began in discussions with Ministry of Education we th because we believe in the schools we have a major problem. We we also very, very concerned about the level of crime that's happening today. We have 74 crimes for the year, eight crimes just last week. And it seems that the public is now taking a attitude that it's business as usual. And this I, is not I think I was going to mention it. We become desensitized to all of this. We become very desensitized to a lot of these acts of violence in the community. I mean, Rand, I mean, we've had a tremendous amount of acts of violence against women, against children. We're losing a whole generation of, of, of young men between 18 and 30 to, to the gang culture and the gun culture. And, and like you said, we, we just, I, I hate to say it for lack of a better word, but it's become acceptable, which is, which is not acceptable. It cannot be acceptable in a, in a population as small as we are. We cannot let it become acceptable. And yes, another statistics, another number. That's somebody's child. That's somebody's mother, somebody's yep. father, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. And we need to keep pounding on the fact that this is not acceptable in a population of our size that have 74 murders already and only six months of the year has gone by. And that's, I mean, when you look at it, it, it speaks back to the fact that we have issues with conflict resolution. We have so many systemic problems in society that, that, that we do need a, a platform such as Crime Stoppers to, to get whatever information we can to solve these crimes up because we're dealing with so many hurdles. But at least the fact that you guys keep it in the strictest confidence, I think that's, that's a problem because a lot of the times, I'm quite sure that if, if, if people think about it, well, where am I going to call if I really want to call? They're going to call the, where they feel the most secure, and that would be Crime Stoppers. So we, we have to keep supporting it. I mean, it, it, you, you guys have been doing a great job for so long, but, but look where we are as a society. I mean, crime is not down, in my opinion, and, and we're seeing different and more heinous acts of violence as we mature as, as a country. So we definitely need you guys to stay in the fight. And we believe getting into the schools early, like you say, so that we could change, maybe start to develop a different um, mindset a different culture we want to try to get into upper primary and the scene and the middle and senior high schools to see if like you say we could change the mindset we could let people have a safe space where they could report because we have cases of incest as you said we have domestic violence we have also a lot as we know a lot of um fighting in the schools and also to introduce programs, work with the, um, the ministry to introduce programs to, um, like you say, with regards to conflict resolution, to be able to say that we have, you know, teach people there's another solution other than picking up to fight violence is not the solution to a conflict. There are other ways to resolve conflict. Now, how can folks who are interested in supporting Crime Stoppers get involved with supporting you guys? Well, I got some Texas chiming in. How, how can we donate or how can we contribute to Crime Stoppers? Okay, well, we, we have a bank account at, at Royal Bank of Canada in the names of Crime Stoppers Foundation. We could also um, drop off a check if you want to the Chamber of Commerce and they would, we have a relationship with the Chamber of Commerce. They would then pass the checks on to us to be able to deposit it into our account. We really do need the support because we don't get any support from, from the government. We have to raise all the funds ourselves. And we have a lot of different programs besides the Ministry of Education that we're trying to get involved with. We have the Crime Stoppers app that we have to support every time there's a change right now. We don't need, it's been pulled from the Apple store. It should go back on pretty soon because we have changes to make every time there's an update. And we have, everybody's doing this on a volunteer basis. So any help we can get from the public would be greatly appreciated. Of course, we have to have money to pay out tips, even though we have to say Bahamas population is very good and very few people ask for reward if they, when they turn in a tip, but we do have to have funds in case person want, wants a reward. So we do need the funds and support would be much appreciated. And 
And when we get into the school, we would need um, items for rewards for the children as well to encourage them. So that's what we need to use some of that funds for as well. And, and we'd like to put up some billboards in the schools, maybe for the coming year. Naughty to say things like, you know, crime doesn't pay, you know, guns down, books up. We have some ideas of, and we have had some designs of some billboards, which we have already forwarded to the Minister of Education. And we're hoping for the new school year to have some billboards up there to try to, again, promote the program, get kids involved, and see if we could really start at an earlier age to get, you know, the mindset change, the idea of violence, you know, into you know, the school kids so that as they go into adults, then hopefully that will carry on with them and we would see a decrease in the level of violence in our overall society because it's really out of control, as we all would say. Well, you know, consider the fact that you have this show as a platform and ever need to get information out, you know, just give me a call. We'll get you on. We'll get the word out there for you. And continue mm -hmm. to do what you're doing because obviously, you know, you are that platform that does provide the anonymity and the confidence that, uh, you know, allows us to at least get whatever we could get in, in the fight on crime, you know, where it needs to be. Because there are a lot of hurdles and a lot of obstacles. So uh, continue, you know, to do what you're doing and, and we'll work on getting you the support that you need. Okay, thank you very much. And just to let you know, like in the last three years, we got over 337 tips between... 2019 and 2021 so people are calling in and we we are trying to encourage the police to follow up as quickly as they can because some of the tips are timely i have about 39 tips for this year and so we hope to continue with that trend and it means that the public does see some benefit and they are supporting the program by calling in tips and we just need the, the police also to join us in responding to those tips and, and following up on those tips as much as they can. All right. Well, we'll continue to get the word out there for you guys. You continue to do what you do. And uh, we appreciate uh, the efforts that you make. And again, like I said, if you ever need to get your information out there, you know you have a platform right here on Talking Heads. All right? Yes. Thanks, Naughty. And thanks, Guardian, because um, Guardian has always been a firm supporter of Crime Stoppers. So again, thank you, Naughty, and thank Guardian overall for the continued support of Grand Stoppers for Homeless. And keep them entertaining commercials coming, all right? We, we, we enjoy them too. <laughs> all right. We need, your, we need your help to write some, some new ones, Naughty. We need all your right. help. Just give me a call, man. I, I, I'm sure we can figure something out, all right? Okay. Thanks again. All right. Hi. You all take care. Enjoy Mr. the rest of the show. We'll, listen, we'll keep listening in. All right. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. And with that being okay, said, let's great. get to the break, Mr. Producer. We got to get to the break. And on the flip side of the break, like I told you, man, we got that brand new feature coming at you. Uh-huh. Courtesy of Percy's Island Game. It's none other <laughs> than the return of Cuban Willie, ladies and gentlemen. No more traffic reports. Cubans turned into a numerologist since we last talked. Dear God, we'll find out what's going on with him on the flip side of the break right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. has a deal for you, animal lovers. We are the sole distributor of the affordable Super Can dog and cat food. Mothers, we also distribute Bumble Poppers, the most inexpensive in the Bahamas, plus wipes, powdered and liquid detergents, disinfectants, and the delicious Max Fly Energy Drink. The Cotton Tree Convenience Store on Bernard Road, Fox Hill. Open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Call us at 364-6249 or 805-5679 for more information. Need to satisfy your late-night munchies? KFC drive throughs are open and frying until midnight every night of the week. Whether you're craving juicy KFC chicken, fries, and biscuit, or one of our signature KFC sandwiches, we've got you covered with 100% KFC flavor. Catch some late-night vibes and take a ride to your neighborhood KFC for after-dark satisfaction. Last call to get fueled by KFC fried chicken is midnight. Late-night cravings at KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. We're going to give you a check every week for a year. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game keep you with it. Percy's Pension Plan. Dream big, we will help you live it. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game, we got you. Percy's Pension Plan. From the friends you can trust. 
trust If winning is a must Don't play the game you know Cause your best chance is with us The most trustworthy name is Percy's Island Game So put 20 on your account And ride this easy train At Percy's Island Game We're back at you, Radio Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 90. Props to all the Texas Chime and Image contributions and, and your comments. Good stuff. We're going to get it started. A lot of you guys are chiming in as well with the answer. Good answers there, too, but not the one I'm looking for, man. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian males between 20 and 50. Survey revealed that 31% admitted even though they should do this on a daily basis, they don't. All right? They don't do this on a daily basis even though they should. I had some great answers, but the answer we were looking for today was take out the garbage. Yeah. Some dudes will leave that in the house, man. You get the extra aroma when you come back in. That, 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 you know, that ammonia, funyun, you know, summer camp kind of aroma. Yeah. Not a good smell, nor a good look. All right. Let's get up into it, man. It's time for, for Cuban Willie's, not, this is me, oh, Lord. Cuban Willie's numerology report. All brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. And it's all about Percy's pension plan. All right. It's back again with $1,000 a week for a year. 13 pensions to give away worth over 244,000. All right, win a thousand a week. All right, uh, one winner. You got 500 a week for two winners, 400 a week for two winners, 300 a week for two winners, 250 a week for two winners, and 200 a week for four winners. So they spread the love, and 13 lucky pension winners are going to win over 244,000 in dinero for a year. All right, one entry with every $20 deposit at your uh, island game. All right, it's your favorite Island Game location. Once you deposit 20 on your account at the Island Game, you are good to go. Percy's Pension Plan, the Triple P, is definitely going to get you hooked up with the Island Game. And with that being said, I, 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 I'm waiting to hear from him, man. I haven't heard from him in a while. Let, let, let's go to it, man. All brought to you, of course, by the Island Game each and every day right here on Talking Edge, Cuban Willie's Numerology Report. Cuban Willie, what's going on, Papa? What's happening? Whippa! Buenas tardes, mi gente. A long time we not talk for a long time. We not speaking. What's happening, everybody? It's Q on Willy. Glad to be back with you on the radio, you know, on the Talking Heads Talking Show. Okay, and mira, I have your numerology report today brought to you, of course, by Percy's Island Game. Okay? I always reminds you to play responsibly. Pero mira, Mr. Producer, today, you know, muy mojadito, very wet on the outside. You know what I mean? I see four dogs, three cats, and two junglers on the way to the work today. Four cats, three dogs, and two junglers on the way to work today, running in the rain, avoiding the puzzle. Four cats, three dogs, two junglers. Your three words for today is the four, three, two, cuatro, tres, dos. For the four cats, the three dogs, and the two junglers. I see you mañana right here on the Talking Heads Talking Show with my numerology report one more time. Good luck, boss, by Percy Silent Game. We see you mañana. Stay playing, my friends. To satisfy your late night munchies, KFC drive throughs are open and frying until midnight every night of the week. Whether you're craving juicy KFC chicken, fries, and biscuit, or one of our signature KFC sandwiches, we've got you covered with 100% KFC flavor. Catch some late night vibes and take a ride to your neighborhood KFC for after dark satisfaction. Last call to get fueled by KFC fried chicken is midnight. Late night cravings at KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. 
George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. Naughty Johnny's restaurant can only be described as the experience. You want to recreate again and food done well. You're welcome into their home at Naughty Johnny's where you can dine on crack conk, conk fritters, and other Bahamian favorites. There's also an international flair that's guaranteed to offer something for everyone. Enjoy a good meal and listen to live band on their patio Friday and Saturday nights or brunch on Saturday and Sunday only at Naughty Johnny's restaurant in the Old Town Plaza, Old Fort. They're open 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday. Naughty Johnny's. Well, what did you hey dumps the boys them going on bad trip dog partying and hanging on the family island July. i telling you dumps hey but since only enough money for one plane ticket one of us got to fit in that bag that look is fit inside the bag then t well i was thinking with the perpendicularity of the bag and the spatial structure of your body you could have just hop in it right quick but t I know Dubs, it's kind of small, but I can slap one handle with care sticker on the wipe. No, T, I'm trying to tell you, the promotion say two fly free. That means two people could go. Two? Two. I told it. <laughs> I can take this guy, man. Eh? <laughs> Grab your friends and head to the Family Islands. With the two fly free campaign, there's no better time than now. Go to BahamasResidence.com for more information. back at you right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Down the home stretch we come. We're into the 5 o'clock hour. 5.07 p.m. is the time. And, of course, we'll uh, get Pearly to zoom in in short order. I know Peter is going to be chiming in in short order. The big uh, Radio Rahim. He should be in a, in a second. I'm going to power out with him. But uh, while I wait for those guys to chime in, you know how I got to get it started. Today in sports history. All brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well worth the trip to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. Mr. Kermit D, Purdy says to look out for him, man. So he, say, he just hit me. He said, tell Kermit, look out for him, man. I'm coming now. So just look for him. Stare at the screen. Look for him. <laughs> today is Monday, July 4, 2022. And, of course, today in Sports History, like I said, brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well worth the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. Monday through Friday, great for lunch and dinner. Then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And don't forget, they got a great businessman's lunch special. You're in and you're out within your lunch hour, only $13.95, and it's a different special daily. So give them a call. See what they got shoved up for you tomorrow. 377-7776. 377-7776. And don't forget, Wednesday and Friday, 5 to 7, happy hour at Naughty Johnny's. So definitely go check it out. Well worth the trip out there to the Old Fudge Shopping Plaza. All right, today in sports history. On this day, Monday, July 4th, 2022. And happy 4th of July to all my American friends and family here in the 242 and abroad. Enjoying yourself. Enjoy your day. 1910, race riots broke out all over the United States after African-American Jack Johnson knocked out Jim Jeffries in a heavyweight boxing match. 1919, Jack Dempsey won the world heavy, defeated Jess Willard. 1934, Joe Lewis won his first professional fight. 1939, Lou Gehrig retired from Major League Baseball. 1980, Nolan Ryan of the Houston Astros got his 3,000th career strikeout. 1980, Martina Navratilova won her sixth straight Wimbledon singles championship and her eighth overall. In 2003, ah, oh Lord, Kobe Bryant of the Lakers was arrested on suspicion of assault. After turning himself into police, he was released after posting $25,000 bond. 
You know how that story ended up. Boy, he had to pay for him a big ring. Sports quote of the day. My motto was always to keep swinging, whether I was in a slump or feeling badly or having trouble off the field. The only thing to do was to keep swinging. Hammer and Hank, Hank Aaron, the great Henry Aaron. And that's the wrap on today in sports, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well, we're the trip out there to the old Fort Shopping Plaza. Chiming in with me, Earl the Pearl is in studio. Earl the Pearl, what's going on, my brother? Hey, hey, Naughty, what's up, my brothers? All as well as a rainy, rainy afternoon. But you sound like the Dodgers won, so you're happier than a pig. No, in no, mud. actually, we got no. Actually, we only took three out of four from San Diego. San Diego actually beat us yesterday. L- listen to you. Only took three out of four. Come on now. Actually, listen. This is their second time they beat us in the last sixteen games. Wow. They have, they have, they have not scored. They have not scored more than more than them. You all own them. Like I say y'all own them. And, the, and you know, and but I mean, a gem. Seven in this shutout ball, you know, basically shut them right down. Um, uh, reliever came in in, this, in the eight and did that, and Kimball blew the save. Uh, and granted, a line shot hit him. Granted, a line shot hit him. So, you know, that could be that could be something. But the bottom line is he blew the save. I lost. I'm, I'm not at him anyway. But you know what I found interesting yesterday before we move on? I know because we had to do some you in and out and all that kind of stuff. But one, that's one thing. Your Yankees got no hit last weekend. They almost get no hit again yesterday. Yeah, but I don't know what's going on. The bats look a little based out in Yankee land. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, you know what? I was talking to my good friend, Coach Simmons, and he reminded me though, that the Yankees perennially do fool in July. July is the month when the Yankees will practice hee haw, if you know what I mean. So if you're trying to catch yeah, up to the yeah. Yankees now, Now's your golden opportunity because you and I both know that uh, in Yankee Land, this is when we do fool. And just Yankee by the noise Nation. of it, just by the noise of it, and not waiting for the intro and just just bombarding in, I think Peter's with us, Earl. Yankees, oh, happy you know, birthday, George Steinbrenner. Me, me, and you, me and you, Naughty, can have a, a, a decent baseball conversation, but I know my brother can get upset right now because he's taking this thing like personal. Who, who, Peter? Yeah, Peter. Naughty, here comes one off the text. Naughty, hey, I'm a diehard Yankee fan, but I'm a bit skeptical about our hitting. No hit last week and one hit yesterday. Wow, I agree with Pearly. And he's a Dodger. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> it's baseball. It happens. Okay? No. Things happen. Peter, 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 what's, what's all the noise in the back there? You, where are you coming from today? Ukraine? They bombing in the background? What's going on? Mm. You got no hit last week Saturday. You went seven innings last week Sunday and was almost no hit before you broke through and win the game. And then you tore, and then you won hit yesterday. That even it happened. That's something you got to be concerned about. How many games have the Yankees won? What's the record of the last ten games? It doesn't matter, Peter. Uh, doesn't, Peter, 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 the Yankees are, are, are six and four in the last ten games. Nothing special. Okay, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not four and six, it's not one and nine, it's not three and seven, it's six and four. I'll take a bit of a slump and six and four over, you know, four and six. So I'm not, you know, ringing the, the four alarm uh, fire bell right now. Okay, we'll see how it turns out. A win is a win, we'll take it. Ten to one, just as much of a win as two to one, we'll take it. Okay. Yeah, but you got to look at, at, at what's going on, Peter. You got to be objective. You, I see some of the bats getting cold. I see some of the issues that we might have with the pitching. Mm-hmm. And, and we're prone to go into the swoon in July. So, yeah, we got a 13-game lead over Boston, 14 over the, over the Jays, 15 over the Rays, and about 21 and a half over the Orioles. But if you go in the hole and you lose a chunk of games, you're allowing people back in the race. And it also and it, and it also puts up red flags come playoff time when you got to play people in a, in a short series and then in a seven game series. You got you got time if you have good enough managers that you're going against. They will make adjustments to play against your weaknesses. And I think that the Yankees' weakness, by God, I hate to say it, might really be in the bats this year and not in the arms. You do, you I do. think there is a weakness in the arms as well. I think that the bats are just a little bit more of a weakness at some point. But Naughty and Earl, I, I Earl especially, I've been told by several sports enthusiasts that Earl is the baseball man 
for the entire Bahamas. And I did not disagree with the statement. Let me tell you that because I'm not. I got some fellas that can't even carry their shoes. Well, no, I haven't met them yet, so I don't know who they are. But the we knew with this Yankee roster that it would be some trouble, and I'd much rather have trouble with a double-digit lead. Let's let Boone figure it out, right? And then he figures yeah, it out with what, a four-game lead. But you knew it was going to happen. I'd much rather stumble now than stumble in October. So let's, September, October, say, hey, let's see what the problem is, see what we can do before the trade deadline, shore it up, you know, great. Let's see what we can do to fix it and then move forward. Right, you know the fight. The fight is the fight is the Dodgers and the Yankees are trying to get Frankie uh, Montas from Oakland. That's that's the talk. But the problem is Montas got hurt yesterday, so they don't know how bad that injury is. So yeah, yeah, the problem with the air brakes on that one. What is yeah. what is Oakland doing with him? Do they want to trade him, or is it just teasing people? So, they're sellers. They're sellers. They're sellers. Look, are they selling him? Are they trying to trade him? Yeah, that's the talk that he's on the market. That's been the talk. The Yankees, the Cardinals, the Dodgers, um, and, and there's another team. Um, I want to say Houston, but I'm not sure. That's really interested in him. But well, the thing oh, is, yeah. either the Yankees or the Dodgers. The Houston cheaters. The, the, yeah. the, 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 the Yankees are so interested in him that the Yankees are, are, are prepared to give up your number two prospect, that shortstop. I can't remember his name. Please He's mean, not that great. But yes. Not Glenn Torres, <laughs> though. <laughs> Yeah, no, you yeah. Listen, yeah, but we could talk uh, about this coming up, you know, in the Who's In and Who's Out segment brought to you by Tropical Jars. Before that, we got to get into the home court yeah. segment, all brought to you, of course, by Burger King. And it's all about the Zesty Whopper, right? The new Zesty Whopper, saucy, crunchy, and full of flavor. You got the flame grilled beef, the crispy chicken, or the plant-based option. Get it as a sandwich by itself or get it as a combo. Enjoy it at your favorite BK location today for takeout, drive through or delivery with the Craven app. And, of course, uh, the home court today, we got uh, Peter Rahim checking in. He covered two big events over the weekend. So he's going to bring us up to snuff with both of them. You had the basketball tournament, and then you had flag football. So, Peter, let me and Pearlie know how it went down in the uh, local, in the uh, basketball and flag football disciplines in the leagues throughout the uh, in New Providence. Let us know what, what went down this weekend. Okay. Uh, the Bahamas and the Bahamas Flag Football League uh, yesterday were the semifinals in men's and women's. You had the uh, the Avengers, the uh, so I, should say, I should say the Carroll Contractors TT, TTF Outlet Avengers, that's the correct name. They played the Seven Seas Predators. Uh, and the Avengers won 19 to 10. The, pred the, the Predators has been more, more of a revival for them. They had a little bit of a, they weren't as dominant as they've been in, in past years, but this year was a revival for them. And to, to it, the game could have gone either way, really. And you wouldn't have been surprised if either one of these teams won. It just happened to be the Avengers. Uh, and what, what stands out for the Avengers every year with the team is the lockdown defense. They have they have they have Rocket who plays cornerback and plays wide receiver. They've got some good. Uh, they got Bats who plays. Uh, you got the veterans, and they understand uh, football very well, very well. So the defense plays lockdown defense, and the offense with the Avengers give them just enough. To win, and that's that's always been the modus operandi. But for the Predators, the Predators have always been everything's full blast. When the Predators' defense is on, their offense is on, and they're just they come. They are usually a very complete football team, and they're a very very a very rare team in that they play all three phases right around the same level uh, uh, all the time. So the offense is great, the defense is great, special teams is great. If the offense is average, the defense is usually average, the special teams is usually very average. And, and this year, the, all three phases were were pretty good. They just they got to the to the semifinals and probably do uh, they could be in the finals next year, but again they could have been in the finals this year. The second the second one is Team Red Dot versus the Lions. And, and this could have been a championship game because uh, if you had to flip a coin as to who's the best team in the league, it, you wouldn't go wrong heads or tails on who you chose. But team Red Dot literally, but um the Lions, the Lions came and won like this game was twelve to fourteen and it was a bit um it's a bit surprising because both teams are very explosive offenses. Very dynamic quarterbacks. Possibly the two best quarterbacks in the league. Uh, uh, Matrix and affectionately called Hokey for, for Team Red Dot. And you expected to see fireworks, you know, maybe 21-14. Uh, wouldn't it be surprised to see 24-21. But the defenses showed up. 
I, when I when I had time to reflect about the games earlier, I remember that both teams are coached by Jets, the tackle football teams, the AFL Jets tight ends. Travis Thompson for the Lions. Charles also a big quarterback. And then you all then you have uh, Eddie Campbell, uh, another tight end for the Jets who coached his uh, team Red Dot. So you were like, and tight ends are very important. That's why I think tight ends make great coaches because tight ends, I don't know if I understand blocking schemes, but because tight ends also catch passes, they also understand passing concepts. So we look at how flag football is built. Flag football is a passing league. In every place in the world, flag football is a passing league. So you have uh, coaches who understand blocking schemes, and understand how to utilize blockers to get protection, also get the running game going, going just enough to offset the passing game, and, but they don't understand passing concepts. So uh, the fact that the Lions and, and Team Red Dot don't both did very well is really isn't surprising. But someone's got to win. So now in the finals, we have the Avengers versus the Lions. If I had to choose, you put a gun to my head, I'd say I'm going to go with the Lions because Travis Thompson is ridiculously successful in championship games with that offense. And he's got the league MVP in Matrix Evan. So uh, if you had to choose, go with the Lions. But don't be surprised if the Avengers pull the upset because the defense, they got is so opportunistic. All right. Like football out of the way. Sounds like they got a big final lined up for next week. So we'll look uh, forward to being out there. I know I'm going to be out there doing some live coverage on, on their live broadcast with a few other of my colleagues. And uh, I think Marcellus Hall going to be out there as well. I cover a lot of folks. So uh, Ronaldo Dorsett as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on with that. Uh, but um, And good stuff there, Peter, on breaking down the games for us. What were the scores, by the way, of the games again for us? Well, the, the Avengers uh, beat the Predators 19 to 10, and the Lions defeated the uh, Team Red Dot 14 to 12. And they advanced now to that's the finals the that's next week. Now, in the women's, what, what, you have the report from the, the women's. women's side? Well, you know, the Pink Panthers, they have a little bit of a dynasty. They got the, the ground up construction Pink Panthers, 13. They played against the Sands Passion Rattler Hawks. And, but, and they defeated them uh, 13 to 7. Then you have the Paradise Games Wildcats. Uh, they played against the Sports Center RF Eagles, and, and they is it was a beatdown, twenty to twenty to nothing. Uh, it's a beatdown because it's really difficult to flag not to score. Statistically, it's very difficult not to score at all. So the fact that one team scored twenty, the other team uh, didn't score at all, lopsided the game. But these things happen. You know, sometimes you come out there and you just you just flat, you just you don't have anything, and um, it's gonna it happens. It's too bad it happened for them in the playoffs. Usually, uh, I remember. Uh, one year, the Colts won the championship. Peyton Manning said uh, the last game we lost, which was against, a, uh, he said, we needed that loss. He said, because if we didn't make that loss, we wouldn't have won the championship that year. Um, that was like, he said, yeah, because it helped us refocus, you know? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes that makes a lot of sense, you know? And I um, I think this is this is a loss that the Eagles needed, but too bad it came in the playoffs. But uh, the Pink Panthers have good coaching as usual, very sound fundamentally. Uh, the Hawks... Not as big a um, a dynasty. Uh, uh, where do you want? You want to use? Um, let's say not uh, a bigger tradition as the Pink Panthers, but they're they're building something out there in terms of reputation. Uh, the Paradise Game Wildcats they've been building a reputation for a little bit longer than the Hawks have, but they're uh, you, you come out and you say, hey, you know the Wildcats are pretty good. In any given year, no one's going to disagree with you. These are uh, uh, all four teams that year in, year out, season in, season out, you expect to be in the playoffs. So, uh, if, you know, someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. In this case, the Pink Panthers and the Wildcats won. So it'd be a really good championship game in the men's and the women's uh, uh, divisions. All right. Now, real quick, you also got out and covered some basketball, youth basketball. Um, let us know about that. I know uh, Coach Bulls had his tournament uh, wrapping up or just another – portion of it on the way to wrapping up which which was like uh, on the way it, it was mostly it was mostly a lot, a lot of training with, with his camp and one of the things that uh with him that i've noticed i didn't notice this before ever all of his camps no matter how if you've been to a camp with him before it become uh you know come come to camp with him a month ago or three months ago or three years ago his camps for the first week it's the boring stuff and not a you coming from a, a extremely sound basketball uh background the boring stuff is what? It's oh, God, the they're running. They're running, they're running, they're running. They're running. They're they probably right. running and doing some more running and then doing some some weave drills and some some <laughs> boxing out drills and rebound drills and, and diving on the floor. And yeah, 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 yeah. The tough stuff. And it's the dirty stuff. And the grimy it, stuff. But you know, right. You hate it. You got to do it, though, right? And this is what he does. And I, I watched him and he, he goes 
just as hard on the stars who are proven as he does on the new guys who just showed up. And you got you got to like the approach. So I'll say if you're looking for uh, your, your kid, no matter what the age, wants to get into basketball and, you know, learn the game and, and with a strong foundation, because with a strong foundation, you don't know where you're going to end up because you could go very far with a strong foundation. It's up to you. You can reach Coach Bowles at 466-0049, uh, International Basketball Academy. They're on Facebook. And the man is about the fundamentals. If you come away with nothing, but you'll know the fundamentals, you'll, 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 you'll at least be what I call a functional player. They can put you on the floor and it's okay. You don't look lost and you can contribute. And that's really, you know, what all people, a lot of players want. just want to come out. I know not really good, but you know, I want to feel like I can contribute on the team. I can help us win. And that's a good place to start. And then as the years go on, maybe you can evolve into a star because no one starts out like, uh, you know, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. You start out a scrub and then you evolve into a superstar. Speaking of basketball, man, we got the FIBA Basketball World Cup qualifier tonight. Uh, Team Bahamas versus the Dominican Republic. That's going down at the uh, at the beautiful Bahamar Convention Center. All right, that's tonight, July 4th. All right, at Bahamar. Game time is at 7. Doors open at 6. All right. It's the senior men's uh, game. Tickets are on sale right now at bbfbasketball.com. You need to come on out, cheer, and celebrate. They have qualified. They beat uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands the other night uh, to, to advance. They still need to get this game in and win. So it is going to be very important that you come on out, support the whole team, and, uh, you know, see Team Bahamas take on the Dominican Republic tonight. FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's the America's Qualifiers going down at the Bahamas, 7 p.m. tip-off. All right, Peter, good stuff on that uh, local reporting. We're going to take a quick break, and on the flip side of the break, We'll be back. We get up into Earl's favorite segment, Who's In and Who's Out, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. And uh, we got lots to talk about baseball-wise, Earl, NBA, NFL. Earl, is Kyrie Irving a Laker yet? Well, hey, look, I've been on Bleach Report all day, every minute, because it can happen any day. It can happen any minute. Keep, let, let, let me put it to you like this. I, I'm still in seven balls, Laker X out, but I've turned, and now my back is not turned toward the Lakers. I'm looking at them from self-imposed exile. We have eye contact now, well, Pearlie. The, the, key, the key is the Lakers want Seth Curry with the trade. Yeah, well, guess what? Well, I, I'll take... It's, it's, if it's, I were back in Lakerland, I'd take either. Because I think if we get... Uh, and, then, and then, no, no, they want they want Curry and Seth together. All, but the Sixers are offering Curry and... And um, Joe Harris. I like that Joe Harris. He's the perfect dude for, for the Lakers. If I was still pulling for the Lakers, I would, I, I would say let's go... Provided he's healthy. Both, both, both fit well because the Lakers want to shoot. Or both fit well. If it's Harris, then 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 the Lakers will have a little more bargaining and and a, a little bit a better bargaining chip. They will not be given much. We got uh, a fun- naughty. I don't know if this is true. I heard that Durant is getting interest from the Warriors. Yeah, that's that's on on the radar. We'll talk about that on the flip side of the break during that segment, Peter. But yeah, he's getting um some 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 heat from from Golden State. But we got a phone call now. Let's chime in. Let's see what our Talking Heads got to say. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, so Durant and Kevin... Hey, not Nutty. Hey, Durant, what's going on, man? Kevin Durant and Donovan, Donovan uh, Mitchell uh, on Miami's uh, radar right now. I was hearing Donovan Mitchell is a, is a big play for the Miami Heat right now. That's Riley's personal favorite. That's He's the one he wants. Play. So it's between him and Kevin Durant. Now, ain't nobody want to play with LeBron James. Uh, speak it again, my brother. You don't have, you know, I'm gonna play with LeBron James, so Kyrie ain't going there. So y'all, y'all could take that. Up. I think, I think Kyrie ends up there just out of a victim of circumstance, because you know, here's who we don't want, for here's who you don't want. Let's make it happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I believe the big winners, the big will be uh, between Miami and the Memphis Grizzlies, and Memphis, because PJ Tucker <laughs> gone to PJ Tucker gone to Philadelphia. Yep. So Pat Riley made that move. Uh, uh, making everything ready to either accept uh, Kevin Durant or Mitchell. I think That's Mitchell ends up in way. Miami. I think you, there's no way Pat Riley was just going to let PJ Tucker go. I see. see no, 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 no. That's a good shooter. Mm-hmm. So, so there's something behind that. He right. He learned the way for some, something big. And I'm think I'm thinking it's Mitchell, man. I think it's Mitchell, and I think him and Jimmy Butler would be a dynamite tandem. And, and Bam out of bio too because they they boys. Yep, 
They are. They are cool. That is true, and that that does factor in. Yeah. So, so they gotta they gotta be the, the the three big the three big winners out of this will be between um, Memphis, uh, Miami, Memphis, Miami, and I think Golden State. Golden State can get something out of it too. Yeah, I think so too. If, if Miami gets Mitchell, then I think Durant ends up back in Golden State. In Golden State, that's right. I don't think I don't think Durant going to Phoenix. I don't think that 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 that, that don't make good sense at all. No, I, I don't think him going to Phoenix makes any kind of sense at all. I agree with you. I think um, he's going to be snake bit in Phoenix like everybody else who ends up in Phoenix, you know, not right. going to win it all. That's I think right. his best bet is to tuck his tail between his legs, take a little chafing from Draymond Green in that Golden State know. locker room and go back there and try to chase yeah. greatness. Crawl right back there. Okay. Why, why if somebody explain to me why KV going to Phoenix don't make sense. It don't. Why? It don't. It don't make sense at all. I personally, Aye. I personally Aye. don't think there's enough basketballs to go around between him and Booker. To tell you the truth, KD needs to go to the big market. Hey, big market. Him, Phoenix him, is not a big market him play, team. him play, and 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 Steph play together. You mean a basketball? That's a similar setup well, if he it, goes it, to Phoenix. It, it was enough basketball when they when they paired up uh, uh, before. It was enough basketball, and they want to ring together. It was. It, no, it was I'm not disputing that. Then. What he says. Naughty says because I think Booker, I think I Phoenix. I think I think um, it was enough basketball when they paired up before, and Clay Thompson. I'm not, but I don't think I don't think. Yeah, yeah but here, I'm, I, I'm thinking Booker's the, the 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 factor in this. I don't think Booker could adjust the way those other guys did. Yes, agreed. Durant yeah, and Steph and Clay. I don't think he's mature as Clay and then Steph. Exactly. I, I don't think he's there, to be honest with you. I think Booker is the issue. But it ain't, it ain't for Booker to mature because KD knows how to play Robin. Y'all keep missing this thing. KD ain't there to take over. He don't never go anywhere to take over. That's why he won't go back to Golden State so he can be the fancy. Uh, Earl, Let's Earl, Earl, the Earl. Make a difference. No, it does make a difference. Here's why. Here's why. In... In um, Golden State, you had not there, so their right. their egos were satisfied. They were much very they're very mature as players and in their their emotional and, and mental makeup. That's right. So they didn't have anything to prove. I already won the championship. Bring you in, okay? Will we win with or without you? Uh, that's that's you know that that's a mama mentality. That that's what they had. When you go to Phoenix, okay. who hasn't won a ring, it's like well, we don't know if we could win it's with you. It, it's, it's a lot of uneasiness there. So it's a different dynamic. And for KD, who is not, to, who he's up and down, he's got his emotional outburst, and, you know, he's a little weird when he's ready. Phoenix may not be as stable enough in personalities to take him on. He's not without his own problems, okay? Everywhere he goes, KD is an issue. So with the maturity of the big three in Golden State, they can babysit him. And they could work with him and his all of his issues. In Phoenix, you don't have enough veterans in the room to deal with Katie and his problems. Okay? That's the issue that you have. I, I know he's gonna end up somewhere, he's not gonna be back in Brooklyn. I mean, he 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 totally dropped Prow and, and squatted all over Brooklyn to tell you the truth. They they sat with him for a year when he was injured, paying him. He, he played like 119 games. And that's it. Let's go to the phone lines. We got another call like chiming in, guys. Talking heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hello? Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah, man. What's going on? Right here, buddy. I hear y'all talking about Golden State and uh, Durant. I don't think you need to go Golden State. Don't forget that. Golden you, want, you want him to go? If he come to us in that automatic championship. Ah! <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Along with all uh, the, 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 the the short blocker, we got the Williams guy. He come off the bench and he be saying, and the Williams guy come off the bench, that automatic championship. That's all Boston will need. You ought to play KD at the center? Huh? You'd play KD at the center? No matter. Oh, Lord. You can play center once you get for Don Williams. I mean, come on. And, and I know that. Is it's not a big score. No, no, no. Let, 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 let. Uh, come on, man. Katie don't play center. Man, he's too strong, man. Okay, all right. May I have bum in his chest one down, one over. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's no better than that. You know, plenty better. All right, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. He can stay forward. It ain't no big thing. But what I'm trying to say to you, 
I'm saying he always beats the eyes of a Golden State. He, he can't see Golden. When he was the Golden State, they only had Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. Now Golden State got the pool guy, which is very good. Yeah. And will they be got Reagan. Pool will be gone. Pool will be traded to get KD. That's true. Pool yeah. will be gone to get KD. Yeah. Well, well, I know they could well, well, do that. But I don't need Houston. Houston looking at they that have no scenario, choice. what they have. They have, they no have Pool and they, they got Reagan. No the good player. They That's got the pieces, and though. Are part of the package. Earl, I'm going to... Most of them are part of the... Not begins. Not begins. Right. Pool is a package and the other young guys. Earl, I would agree with, 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 exactly. with Mr. Celtic. I mean, I'll be honest with you. He... he he got a point that Golden State does have a lot of groceries in the cabinet. Yeah, they can trade. Too, too good, good they, they stopped. Yeah, so I'm they got a lot of players. I'm not knocking. I'm not saying they cannot pull it off. They probably want to who can pull it off. All I'm but saying is that's only KD. But KD, you know, see, y'all killing LeBron. And, and let's get the record here. I don't like LeBron. We know that. But y'all killing LeBron and KD doing the same thing LeBron doing. But LeBron trying to be the alpha. KD trying to be Robin or maybe even Robin Gall. KD ain't trying to be the man where he go. He only go in the things where he can win a championship. He thinks he can win a championship. Earl, use my boy, but LeBron has never tried to be the alpha, okay? He's a full-blown beta. He can never be no alpha. Naughty, naughty, naughty. LA had a good team, man. I think you can't, and and being a sports fan, you can't let your personal feelings break up that with the man. Hold on, you both talking at the same time. Go ahead, go ahead, caller, and then I'll let Pearlie chime in. Yeah, go. but what I'm saying, when L.A. let Guzman go on and uh, what do you name, the, the other guy, who, uh, Poo, what do you name, the other guy who shoot the ball pretty well, Popo, what do you name? I, I think that, I think L.A. break up their team, man. They, that was good up come bring him when they let Guzman go. He, he was a good shooter. I, I didn't like them getting rid of him and uh, them other younger guys with L.A. had, man. Uh, that was wrong. Hey. And again, let me, let me make a comment and I can hang up. If he go to Phoenix, he could help Phoenix. Because don't forget, Paul was... Right? And they only really got your boy who was really consistent in shooting the ball. Uh, 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 Bucker. Okay. So after that, you know, what, what Phoenix, Phoenix got after that? Hello? Nobody. Okay, so agreed. That's why I tell you, them. he'll be good in Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix was a scorer he he away from winning the team. NBA title last year. If they had Kevin Durant on that team last year, they would have beat Milwaukee. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So they could use him. Now, right now, what's his name? Paul or Chris Paul, he does it for him. He does it maybe his last year this year. And they ain't got nobody who, you know, after him go there, they got buckets because could score the ball constantly. After that, tell you, like, 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 uh, like Naughty say, they ain't got nobody else, so that'd be a good fit for him to go there. Him and Andrew, Perfect. what he named the Aiken boy, that'd be good. You could have that team, man. All right, Anyhow, man. But I appreciate Naughty your Naughty. contributions as always, man. I know you want him in Boston, but I don't think that can happen. Oh, well, if that happens, Boston, 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 Boston got a really good team. Boston, <laughs> team. Boston team, I think coming out the East. Yeah, Boston, Boston plug and play for next year. Bar an injury, they're going to be tough. They're going to be very tough next year, barring injury, man. But, Pearlie, somebody chime in and say, right. Naughty, to Philadelphia goes KD. To the New Jersey Nets goes Eric Lindros, Mike Schmidt, Bryce Harper, and Furkan Korkmaz. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they start my my uh, Furkan Korkmaz? Start me up on that again, man. On name alone, you know, right after John Morant is Furkan Korkmaz. You understand me? <laughs> yeah. One of the baddest two guards ever in the history of two guards, man. Um, Naughty, I know you use cuss Jeannie Bus, right? But they might give you a little bit of reprieve with her. I'll give her a little bit of reprieve with you. This is a tweet she put out says, I miss KB, meaning Kobe Bryant. He would understand and explain everything that I am not. I miss KB. He would he would explain everything that I am not allowed to. Honestly, he was the greatest Laker ever. He understands team over self, meaning your rewards would come if you value team goals over your own. Then everything else would fall into place. All can reply. Do you want to read that again? Read that again for me, Earl, please. I went down to sink in. Pearly, you there? We just lost Pearly on that major contribution? 
Sorry, but I didn't realize I muted the phone. Phone, I muted the, the, the zone. Boy, anyhow. So what you got? Read it for me again. Oh, well, no, I didn't hear reading. I want to read that good reading. I do Just now, you know, read it again. You've been the sack. You can put it off twice. I miss KB, meaning Kobe Bryant. He would understand and explain everything that I am not allowed to. Honestly, he was the greatest Laker ever. He understood team over self, meaning your rewards would come if you value team goals over your own. Then everything would fall into place. Boy, Jeannie, you make me cry on that one. All right, so now I've now I've turned now now I've turned from self-imposed Laker exile, and my back no longer turned. Not only am I looking at the Lakers, now I'm standing up, and I got my two hands up. Like like what's what's going on? All right, Jeannie, me and you got to talk. All right. That was heavy though. That was me and me and Jeannie Bus got to. She did Jerry West then. That that statement there. Supersedes what she said by LeBron and bumping Jerry West off that list. Yeah, yeah. Pearly, man. That was wonderful. Pearly, I might be coming wonderful. back home, Pearly. You, you keep saying it like that. You might you have you, you have to come to this new since you just meet me. Hey, just meet me with the shot of Jack Daniels because you know my membership card was signed by Dr. Jerry Bus. Nobody can't kick me out. Nobody can't say I'm nothing to me. That. But you put you put a hole on that. And we, some, we, have to, we have to review that. It, and I said it can't happen. But ain't no hold on. Happen. I tell you what the hold on. Mr. Producer, let him hold on this break. Let's go to the break before I tell you what the hold on. Peter. Peter, boy, let me tell you, Peter, you got people chiming in, man. All, all, all the lady uh, flag football team saying you're doing a great job with the coverage. Keep it up there, Peter. We, we still got Peter or Peter going? We lost Peter? Anyway, Earl, you see how Peter go? He's a celebrity. Now he do his segment and live. That's like, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, he's trying to be the next Stephen A. Smith. No, uh-huh. Kendrick Perkins. You see Kendrick Perkins walk out the other day? So when he walked out, when he left, the show got better. <laughs> but Perk's back. Perk said, Perk said the Lakers should trade uh, LeBron James with Gary Irvin. I, 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 I with that. But hey, Peter did a great job, man. And the show is always good with Peter. He ain't like Kendrick Perkins, man. Kendrick Perkins leave, the show get better. You know, Peter, we miss you, man. But um, we'll take a quick break, Pearly. Yeah, man, we, we don't want Peter to feel hurt today, man. Peter been out, you know, hitting the pavement, man. He been he been getting them stories there, Earl. He's a legend. He's a legend. I I hear he got run over too out there in flag football, trying to show do it out of block. I hear that's why he can't he come to the flag, studio. One of the flag football ladies knocked him over. Yeah, I, I, I hear he pulled an oblique. He pulled the crazy oblique muscle. Let's take the break and then we'll Anyway, right, and we'll be back to wrap things up on the flip side. It's 5.42 p.m. right here on Talking Heads, the Monday edition. And that's a wrap right there on your home court. All brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. On the flip side, we'll get into who's in and who's out. All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. Right after this, right here on Talking Heads, Monday edition. Don't touch it. I had got prostate cancer. My family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of family. I'm going on with my life. Plus, at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Get ready for more with the new Tomato Pesto Grilled Cheese Sandwich at Dunkin'. More delicious ingredients and more vibrant new flavors. So you can get more out of every moment. The Dunkin' Tomato Pesto Grilled Cheese Sandwich features oven-roasted tomatoes, pesto spread, and melted cheddar cheese. Sandwich between two slices of authentic toasted sourdough bread. For flavors that are bold and bright, the Dunkin' Tomato Pesto Grilled Cheese Sandwich is tomato pesto perfect. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. 
Bank the way you want. The Water and Sewage Corporation advises its customers, residents, and the general public that the corporation will commence improvement work on Boyd Road between Nassau Street and Columbus Avenue. Beginning on July 4th, 2022, for a duration, there may be some interruption in water supply, road closures, and detours around the work area. Motorists are asked to avoid the area between the hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. The corporation apologizes for any inconvenience which may be caused and appreciate your patience as they work to improve their level of service. Let Duncan put the good back into morning with our delicious breakfast sandwiches. Enjoy a fluffy egg topped with American cheese and bacon, ham, or savory sausage on your choice of a flaky croissant, a warm bagel, or a toasted English muffin. Choose your favorite and have breakfast just the way you like it. Make it a combo with golden hash browns and and a freshly brewed coffee and get rising and shining with Duncan breakfast sandwiches today. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Fidelity, we're good for you. I used to think of the bank as my personal ATM machine. If I wanted a new car, new furniture, a weekend trip to Miami, no problem. Just max out the credit card or top up my loan. I was a big baller until I realized that 75% of my salary was going to pay back all those loans. Fidelity's personal financial coaching was the best solution. Fidelity gave me a plan with a debt consolidation loan that has a built-in savings that pays 5% interest. I now only have one low monthly payment plus money in my pocket. Give Fidelity Bank a call at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit any of Fidelity's locations or visit a website at fidelitygroup.com. The most important thing in life is family. And whenever you need reliable advice, you look to the people you know you can trust. At J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers, we earn our clients' trust every day. Whether it's home, motor, travel, or commercial insurance, we've got you covered. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S.C., 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 Johnson Insurance. Talking Heads continues right now. Down home stretch. We come 5.47 p.m. is the time. And as we continue with our Who's In and Who's Out segment, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. Don't forget, Tropical Gyros, man. Rosetta and Mackey Street, man. They're open until 6. So if you're in the neighborhood right now, grab one on the way home, man, for your Monday night delight. That's what I'm talking about. All right, be sure to check them out on the uh, home of the original Bahamian gyros, like jerk chicken, crack lobster, crack kong, barbecue salmon, grilled veggies, and their famous jerk chicken salad. All right, don't forget the gyro bowls as well. So be sure to check them out, both locations. Are, I mean, at, at the, the Mackey Street location, 601-5752. You can call in for takeout or delivery, and our walk-ins are always welcome. All right, so, Earl of Pearl. Yes, sir. We got, uh, we was talking a little bit about uh, NBA, who's in and who's out. Major League Baseball, who's in and who's out. This NFL season, man. The offseason is quietly going by. days away from training camp, buddy. Some, some, um, a friend of mine texted me, said August 17th, first preseason game, Tampa Bay, Miami. I worried about August 17th. You know that. I worried about when it counts yeah, in September. Yeah. I, worry, I worry about September 11th. Wow. First day of the season. First day of the season. I'm telling you, man. Um, But I tell you, um, out of the NFL, I got, I got, I got a joke for you, man. Go to the oh, NFL. Oh, oh. Go to the NFL, you know. There's a little team called the San Diego Padres who's given a little stir up around my my you know had a little little we had a little tension in the universe, but we had to we had to bring them into LA, spine them up, and you know like give ourselves a good three and a half game lead over them so we could put some balance back in the. But universe. why are we back on them when we was talking baseball earlier? Are you trying to talk NFL now? 
Sorry, I just had to say that. I was just excited about that. The sorry. role of Peter will now be played by Earl with this random radio moment of sports ridiculousness. But Peter told me to handle it while he's gone. Man, you handled it all right. Listen. So what's happening in there, What's happening speaking in there? Of, speaking of hands, man, former All-Pro running backs Adrian Peterson and Le'Veon Bell, they're set to box in exhibition on July 30th. Oh, God. They, neither, they broke? I thought they was making money. Neither Peterson, 37, nor Bell, 30, has ever competed in a boxing ring or officially retired from the NFL. Peterson played in a total of four games in 2021, three for the Tennessee Titans and one for the Seattle Seahawks to mark his 17th season. Bell been washed up. So this is like a charity, this is like a charity kind of thing, I hope. It's going to take place on the undercard of the Social Gloves 2, a card that continues the trend of boxing events featuring social media personalities, athletes, and celebrities. Social Gloves 2, which will be a pay-per-view stream, is said to be headlined by YouTube personalities Austin McGroom and uh, Anison Grib. It will also feature ex-NBA player Nick Young, fighting rapper Blueface, and rapper DGG towing the line with rapper PNB Rock. Naughty Earl will not be watching that. Wow. And that that's that's garbage. I mean, come on, man. I mean, How far on. have you fallen off when the check stopped coming in and you gotta do that? Sad yeah, news really. from last week when reported Jalen Ferguson of the Ravens linebacker passed away. Toxicology reports released now cite uh, fentanyl and cocaine in the system to toxic levels. Yeah. I read that. I read that earlier. Yeah, that's sad. Very sad, there, man. Very, very sad. Um, yeah. Some other news coming out. Garoppolo still out there, and also uh, Baker Mayfield. Could you see these guys get see, somewhere in, in short order? I see the Washington Redskins. I mean, Washington Commanders. The um, commies. Gave Terry McLaurin. Gave Terry McLaurin. The commies. Yeah. They gave Terry him the McLaurin. bag. They, they gave oh, Terry the bag. Yeah. No, they get, yeah, three-year extension, $28 million signing bonus. Damn, yeah, dude. They don't want him to go anywhere. Yeah. You still got some, you still got some, some nice, um, you know, some looking to sign. Hopefully we'll see some stuff happening over the next few weeks. Now, we got something here that, that I don't, I don't know, man. Tell me, Earl, if you think he's going to last. But Vaughn Miller said that he plans to, to last the full six-year deal that he inked with the Buffalo Bills for all of $120 million. So he's going to last that six years. How old is he now? How old is he now? He's up there, man. He's, got, he's in his 30s for sure. Mid-30s. 33. He's in his 30s. Is he is 30, is only 33? Say so he's going to go tell you 38 or 39 on this deal. Yeah, he's 33. So that means he'll be like 39, 40, almost 40. Boy, I don't know. Because where does Mark? That's turning 33. So, wow. I don't know. And he's rocking no, number 40 for the not. Bills, so we'll see. I doubt that happens. I mean, you know, it'd be good. You know, you know, not not only not only uh, Brady can make it play in the league at a old age. You know, maybe he can. You never know. We'll see. I I, I don't know, yeah. man. I. I I think Vaughn could give him two, maybe three out of that out of that six. I don't know about the last three because then he might become a cap casualty, might become a business decision. He will become a business decision. And of course, you know that the Ravens. That's a lot of money. That six year one, yeah, they probably gave him like that's not a big cap hit if they get rid of him after three years. So I guess that's why they did it. And how they have the kind of the contract loaded, and now uh, make it money. That's the thing about the NFL. You make your money up front. You don't make your money in the back end. You make your money in the front end. Yeah, you better make it up front. In the back, you're looking to chase that all career long. Get that guaranteed money. You get that guaranteed money check. That's what you want. That's yeah. signing bonus. Why? But the you the go. signing bonus is the key thing. You know? Sign them that yearly contract. That's just that's partying money. That's signing bonus when you put in the bank and you get your house and everything. With that check you get every week, that little small check. Then you go party with that. You hang out. You buy nice cars and then with that. But the signing bonus. Yeah, if, if you get a hundred twenty million dollar car, you probably get sixty million. You put a sixty million in the bank, load it, and then taxes. You probably get another ten million. You go party with. There you go. You can balance it out. Make it stretch it. Yeah. Make it stretch. 
All right, we got to get to the we got to get to the break now. Earl of Pearl, we're gonna take our last break, and on the flip side of the break, we'll be back to wrap it up because you know, I gotta you know say who I like tonight, man. I, I gotta hook you up with some pig, you know, pro picks. All brought you across by the island game. Ain't much games to like tonight. Ain't much games to like tonight. They tell us they won't play all the games you watch on call. I tell you, in, in Major League Baseball tonight. Let me see what I can put together, man. See if I can put together a little parlay. All right, that I'll share with you all on the flip side of the break. All right, as we hook you up with uh, my pigskin picks, my pro picks, sorry, my pro picks, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. On the flip side of the break, right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. That's right, boys and girls, get ready to play basketball at the 34th Annual Jeff Rogers Basketball Camp, July 4th through July 29th at the Kendall GL Isaacs Gym, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. So parents, get your boys and girls ages 5 through 18 registered now. Applications available at the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, Tonic Williams Darling Highway, and at the registration desk at Campsite Kendall GL Isaacs Gym. Special appearances by NBA players, legends, and coaches. So get your boys and girls registered now, ages 5 through 18, for the 34th Annual Jeff Rogers Basketball Camp, July 4th through July 29th. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Center of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and they set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Craving tasty KFC chicken and need an affordable fix? The KFC Quick Fix Menu has three tasty options that are both big on taste and value with plenty of mouth-watering goodness. Try the KFC Flavor Full Box, packed with three pieces of crispy fried chicken legs and whole wings, fluffy mashed potato with gravy, corn, a buttery biscuit, and an ice-cold Pepsi for only $9.95. Get your favorite chicken fix today, only at KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. If you want those slot him, or just take him to waste. Then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go. Like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. Is your place, is your place. The King wants you to take a walk on the tangy side with the all-new Zesty Whopper collection at Burger King Nassau. Enjoy the classic Zesty Whopper with two types of cheese, zesty sauce, and crispy onions stacked on 100% flame-grilled beef. Or go zesty on our plant-based Whopper and crispy, crunchy, and full of flavor. And only available at Burger King Nassau. Visit any of our seven locations and enjoy a Zesty Whopper as a combo or as part of the King's Feast at Burger King Nassau, where taste is king. We're going to give you a check every week for a year. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game keep you in it. Percy's Pension Plan. Dream big, we will help you live it. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game, we got you. Percy's Pension Plan. From the friends you can trust. It's winning is a must. Come play the game you know, because your best chance is with us. The most trustworthy name is Percy's Island Game. So put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at Percy's Island Game. George, shoes and accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries very small home appliances. So come on in today at John's, where we put fashion at your feet. Move. 
if you got the nerve, lash out for your just desserts. It's not just the word. Some of y'all here. I got you right here on Talking Heads, and don't forget, uh, before I get out of here, uh, I got to hook you up with my pro picks for tonight, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game and the Island Game Sportsbook, and it's all about Percy's pensions plan. All right, win 1000 a week for a year, 13 pensions worth over 244000 up for grabs. You get one entry with every $20 deposit, $20 deposit on your Island Game account. So definitely uh, get to the deposit and put that 20 on there. You're going to get an entry for every 20 you put on. All right, and uh, you're going to get that pension for a year if you're lucky. Buddy. 13 lucky winners, yeah. Speaking of hookups, I'm still waiting. Anyway, go right ahead, sir. Ooh, boy, you good, you know. No, I got to do that. I got to do that. See, I, was, I, I was waiting. It's been a week and, and three days. Any, anyhow. No problem. Now I could be a week and four right for, for the salt. But anyhow. Yeah, here's what I like today. I get the moon right and the big black pepper too. Oh, God, Jesus. Can I get the picture and then I can go? And then you can throw this later? All right. Here's my three tonight and the trifecta who I like. I like your Dodgers to take out the Colorado Rockies. I like the Toronto uh, Blue Jays to knock off the Oakland A's. And I like uh, the Minnesota Twins to take care of the Chicago White Sox. All tonight, 4th of July, those three stone cold lead pipe locks. Set it, forget it. That's it. That's your winner, winner chicken dinner right there. For Earl of Pearl, for Kermit D, my super producer, and everybody who chimed in today. Great stuff on the Monday edition. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Talking Heads. Bye-bye.